We begin tonight with our top local story. A new Bedford apartment building goes up in flames, and now investigators have serious questions about how the fire started. Eyewitness News and WPRI.com were first to break the story last night. Everyone inside the building made it out safely thanks to the efforts of police and fire crews. But now 10 people are left out in the cold and wondering what really started the fire that took their homes. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuller joins us now with more on our top local story. Well, New Bedford's fire chief tells us the 7th Street fire is considered suspicious, but as crews work through burnt debris today, smoldering embers stalled their search to locate the cause. Heavy flames shoot from this historic New Bedford apartment building, quickly burning for more than two hours yesterday afternoon. Today, investigators return to the scene, picking through rubble and searching for clues. The fire is suspicious, as we stated last night, and we're trying to determine the, uh, where the fire started, and it moved on. Investigators believe the blaze started on the second floor in the building's only vacant apartment. Stubborn hotspots slowed firefighters' efforts to figure out what sparked the massive blaze. It's, uh, it's smoldering underneath the where, the where the third floor caved in on the second floor where the fire started. So uh, we had a fire co couple of fire companies up here earlier who will bring another fire company up here shortly. Residents told responders an unknown man was led into the building to look at the available apartment just before the fire started. Within 15 minutes later, uh, you know, I'm being told to be up. I'm being told to get out. I heard a little bang going up uh, upstairs. And someone walked down the stairs nice and normally. The apartment's owner and his insurance provider were also on scene today, deciding whether the 166-year-old building can be saved. It doesn't look like it's viable to uh, repair it, but uh, again, the insurance company will be here shortly to also to work with us and make a decision. And tonight, there's still no word on the fate of that building. One firefighter was treated and released from the hospital after inhaling smoke, and the Red Cross is assisting the 10 victims displaced by the fire. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.